The government negotiated with some international bondholders holding 40% of the $13 billion debt and reached an interim agreement. This agreement slightly exceeds the debt sustainability limits set by the IMF. The IMF says it doesn't meet their program parameters. Meanwhile, the finance minister, Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam, has assured it's just a hurdle, not a failure. He promises to keep negotiating with bondholders whilst tweaking the terms and find a solution that works for everyone. Investors reacted negatively, causing a dip in bond prices. However, analysts suggest this might be a temporary fluctuation. More talks are needed to finalize the deal within IMF's debt sustainability targets. Meanwhile, Director of Academic Planning at Gimpa Business School, Dr. Ebenezer Bugri Anafo, has observed the press release on the staff level agreement is just a formality. The IMF concern is that if they are to wait for us to have an agreement, especially our Euro bond holders, uh, especially China and the rest, uh, it might take some time and that could endanger the economy. And the consequences of the economy collapsing or leading to macroeconomic instability could be much more dangerous for us. So it is for this reason that they have relaxed that whether Ghana will reach an agreement with our external creditors or not, they have already in principle uh, approved the third tranche.